Hi there, it's Zanibar Picklebottom from the Alchemy Viewer Team. So, aside from the ambient uh, probe uh, uh, settings, there is also another thing that could help you in uh, challenging scenes. Uh, it's called Near Clip. And what it does is it essentially excludes certain objects within a set distance from the center of the probe. Uh, and this value is in meters. So in this example, uh, there's this very rude golden cube right here that is just messing up all the data right now. As you can see, it's been baked into the probe, and it's just not really exactly what we want to happen right now, because it's interfering with lighting and the reflections in a way that's just doesn't look very good. In this case, we can fix this by adjusting the near clip of this box probe in this scene. So, you can see there's this value, it's near clip. Uh, so let's start with 0.1. That's about 0.1 meters from the center of the probe. Alright, we'll wait for it to bake. Doesn't look like that's changed anything. Let's try 0.2. Okay, let's try 0.5. Okay. Oh, there we go, and now it is being partially excluded from uh, being baked into the scene. Let's take a look at this. Okay, it's not quite invisible yet, so what we can do is we can use my little test sphere here as a guide on how far to set this. Let's try 0.6 meters. Yeah, wait right for the bake. Okay, 0.7. And it's gone. It is now no longer rendered by the reflection probe. And now we have a nice, lovely, multicolored room of awesomeness. Now, you can set this too high. Uh, so like in this case, let's set it to two. Two is probably too high. Oh, uh, maybe not. Let's find out three. Oh, and C. Now that we're starting to exclude the room, the entire uh, bake of the probe is changing. And if we keep going, it gets bigger, more excluded, until suddenly the entire room has been excluded and everything is wrong. But as you can see, this can actually come in handy in case if all you want is a room to be the reflection. Because in this case means that if we set this to something like 2.5, uh, how about 2? Two? 2 is probably good for this. There we go. There we go, set to 2. That means that if I move this cube around, it's going to be a while before it's actually included into the reflection because of how far from the center it has to be. Like I would have to put it like right down here for it to be included. See? If I were to move it up some more, oh, hold on, screen space reflection is being a little silly. See, so just up, so at two meters, just above the floor is about the cutoff point. And it's and a good thing to keep in mind with near clip is it's the radius from the center. It's not diameter, which means if it's at the point five. That means half a meter away is when it is the exclusion zone, but in reality it's about a meter of zone around the center of the probe. Uh, but yeah, there are various useful things you can use near clip for, like let's say you need a larger area, but you have a wall that intersects the probe. If you don't want that wall to be rendered, but you want the rest of it to be uh, rendered as well, you can adjust the near clip until just the wall is uh, removed, but the rest of the scene stays intact. It's just yet another tool in your uh, tool bag for making probes behave and perform exactly how you want. I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope to see you all again.